I would like to speak about uh, what does it mean for me uh, love uh, being in love and love life uh, it's uh, quite interesting uh, in my life first of all because uh, most of the people have uh, prediction from homosexuals but also from transgenders uh, I face it many times with it when I'm going to doctors for example uh, they always send me for checkup for sexual transmitted diseases and uh, and uh, yeah when I'm saying I'm seeing men uh, most of the people thinks you know I must have sex with everyone and the sex is only something I don't know something sinful something meaningless without emotion and so on when somebody know like we know that than that. Uh, for us emotion is more important than ever or for me it's more important than ever I was never really uh, hook up kind of girl I always took to mix uh, love and making love not making sex uh, it's make me a deeper connection for a person and I was always really sad and disappointed when I find out for my partner actually it was not nothing more than just some movies and let me kind uh, anyway uh, and in my introduction I said uh, I had to face with the problem I'm different uh, not because of myself it's because of what's my love life I was meant uh, I hardly find a person who could accept the fact uh, to face with my problems daily basis and it's not because they didn't love me they simply didn't want to take this challenge which I can understand this still made me sad all the time because uh, yeah it's difficult but uh, I talked my values makes it uh, uh, worthy to fight with me with my daily life and uh, to be with me but till now <laughs> I can say till now uh, it happened with me not maybe I didn't mess with the right person if I was to be positive so anyway um, I had serious relationships uh, more and the last one was more than seven years actually we're still living together but uh, I had to accept the fact to my reality uh, to find someone or my chance is to find someone who be with me like I would like it uh, hardly will happen or yeah you never say never but uh, the chance is like in the lottery game there's a chance a real slight chance which uh, if you lucky you find but I would like is not my life <laughs> or I'm a bad person and I didn't recognize that much I mean how many luck I have sure I have uh, my life is still bearable so more than bearable uh, so no complaint I see much first lives uh, so uh, it made me also question and I read about relationships and at the moment uh, I'm thinking to find someone serious it's impossible I'm on a way which I must do alone and uh, also I'm changing to find a partner it means you know yourself and uh, your partner can know you and uh, during the change uh, when you don't know yourself it's a kind of hard to to give yourself for someone it's like serious and because I'm living in this area, I think uh, I only could have chance with someone who is more open-minded, who come from somewhere else. But my life is caged me here uh, at present, 
and it will be another two years and uh, I cannot move and also uh, if I someone find someone who can come you know and we really find a the way to be together and both of us may, both of us became happy because of this um, it only can be occasional so I can say at the moment I'm into kind of friendship uh, with some intimacy it's not really about sex it's um, about intimacy and uh, yeah and I find that actually I never really close to none of my love story I mean they never became really full I mean received and give them happy periods and fight and so on they both stub in a state where were so many possibility which we not experienced uh, it sometimes was the decision sometimes it was uh, because of circumstances but uh, I never really finished a love and um, when I think on these persons I still love them I s maybe silly to say but I don't forget the feeling how I felt and it makes me feel again when I see them also online is stupid but I not really separated from them at all uh, most of them in a way I keep in contact and yeah I stopped in that stage but I can say I love them and now with the new relations it's the same I met with so many fantastic men all different and uh, I see their values maybe it's a desperate act I don't know when you only focus you know on the good things and <laughs> if you realize the bad things you are easily over and of course with my situation when you only meet for a few days in the best uh, you can be over on, on mistakes or force which maybe daily basis you could be crazy about my relations at the moment it's not like that and still I really feel love uh, for more men okay I know it's not the same like most of the people imagine and call love it's a deep emotion by me which I feel uh, them really close to me and connected and makes me happy when have something good happen with them and makes me really sad when something bad and I'm always happy to be with them now I'm chatting about more actually it's only one at the moment but uh, who is in my presence uh, but I think it's a kind of love and one of my friends the American one <laughs> told me and, and I guess he is right it's because uh, I don't find in one person all the things which I'm looking for and, and I was thinking yeah but uh, why it's a must to find everything in one person I believe in non-monogam relationship I am pretty open and I'm really thinks it must be on absolute honesty the basis and to find out what is good for the other I don't say the absolute opening uh, is the good one we have to find a way how the other feel good but we cannot decide about these things what makes them good and what makes them not good alone uh, is something which we have to find out together with the partner I only met one guy uh, who had a kind of polygonal relationship um, but actually I find him pretty chauvinistic I'm sorry so basically I could prefer one in presence and keep the others like friends but uh, it's not my choice and here comes again you know the predictions 